better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Yo, don't hate the play, I hate the game. Ah, today is just a random, what are we doing today? Just random things that I gotta get done. Right now we're gonna go get coffee and go put gas in my car. But first we're gonna see if my car even starts because I'm the person that drive my car all the way on E and I know how many miles it takes me. I, can, I know how many miles I can drive when the red light turns on and I feel that happened the other day. Let's hope that we can get down to the gas station. Man, van, sometimes it's hard to get shoes on over my brace for some reason uh the lady on the robot said it was raining so let's see if it's really raining Sounds like it's raining, so I'm gonna go put another jacket on because I don't really want to get wet. What kind of jacket do we want to put on? We got so many of them. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Alexa, turn off the bedroom light. Alright, we got the wallet, we got the keys. Let's see if this actually starts up. A moment of truth. Well, we already know it's gonna start up. Let's just see how much gas I have. Bam, do you see that? Going straight to the gas station and then go get coffee and getting some caffeine in our life so we can get motivated to uh, talk talk to you. So let's, let's get going. Two things we got to get done. Walk clothes and the washer. We just got back from getting the coffee. I sat in the car. One thing I like doing, but I don't like doing it on the phone. I wish there, maybe there's a way to do it on the computer and just post on the, maybe I should Google it, figure it out. I like posting stuff on Instagram, like doing it on what a TikTok, Facebook, whatever, but I absolutely dislike editing my clips on my phone. It's super annoying. I don't know, I was sitting, I sat in the car for about, I don't know, seven minutes, maybe 10 minutes, trying to edit a clip on the phone. And it's just, it's easy, but it's time consuming at the same time. If I could just edit it on my computer, I could bop, 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 add the song, boom, it's done. On this, I don't know, this seems hard. It's not hard, but this time consuming way, because you got to use your fingers and drag, drop. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. Actually, I really don't know what it is. All I know is that I turn it on. I think it sucks the smells out the air. What are you doing? I did some research the other day and I usually get plastisol heat transfers made or I make my own plastisol, well, I used to. I'm getting back into making my own. I got the whole screen printing set up, but I usually get plastisol heat transfers made or I do the heat transfer vinyl. Two things right there work out really well. And then there's these other things called direct transfer, DTF, direct to film transfers. It's basically, they print a good plastisol heat transfer, but they, I don't know, the. The way that I looked at it and the way I did the research is I, I did some research and I found a good website. You could fit, where did I fit? I got a 22 inch by 60 sheet and I could fit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 graphics. 20 graphics on one sheet. And these 20 graphics is almost the whole catalog for forevercrusaders.com. And this is just a, I, for all the research and everything that I, I pointed out that I did, 
Google, YouTube, all that stuff. They seem like a good product. And you could, there's certain ways that you can do it on the bottom of skateboards. So I want to do a couple of tests and print them on, uh, find a good blank. I know, I know exactly where to get good blanks at like I used to before. And just maybe just print one on there to see how it works out. And if it works out, I know for a fact they look, they'll look, it feels from what I've noticed and what I've did the research on these DTF transfers have like a soft feel like if you screen print it with water-based ink the difference between plastisol ink and water-based ink is the reason why they call it plastisol because they're small microscopic pieces of plastic in the ink so when you drag the ink it's really rough not really rough but real thick so there's ink thinners and all this stuff if you're not subscribed to the channel I double dog dare you and go back I have a whole catalog of videos on how to screen print most people that I skate with and things like that don't know how deep in the game I am with making clothing and making clothing for other people it's kinda of funny they think I just do it for a hobby when I this stuff right here is the website is linked down below but I also do it for other other people and I don't know People don't think, I don't know, This here's my thought process. People that I tell them maybe just think that I just have a small little setup. Yeah, my setup's really big, but it's my whole garage. The whole garage is basically a full-blown t-shirt making facility. I have a hat press, I got a screen printing press, I have a vinyl cutter, well, I have a heat press. That's all you need. I have a flash dryer, I have all the inks, I have all the squeegees, I have all the things to make t-shirts and I don't think people realize when I tell them that I can make you I can make your t-shirts here's my price and the reason sometimes they look at me funny because my price is a little bit higher than a normal screen printing shop because I am a smaller thing caliber than a massive big screen printing shop they got automatic printers automatic screen printing machines they got manual screen printing machines they got all these things in the they just set them up on automatic ones so they can do a thousand shirts in an hour, you know, so they can have a lower minimum. I'm doing quality work, so my price is up here. Their price might be down there. You might be getting more, you know, you feel like you're getting a bang for your buck, but right here, I'm right here, they're right there. You're supporting locally, somebody doing it local, and you're supporting skateboarding. Even if you're not making skateboarding shirts, you're supporting here. If my if my price is here and the massive screen printing shop price is down here but I'm up here here's my price and the reason sometimes they look at me funny because my price is a little bit higher than a normal screen printing shop because I am a smaller thing caliber than a massive big screen printing shop they got automatic printers automatic screen printing machines they got manual screen printing machines they got all these things in the they just set them up on automatic ones so they can do a thousand shirts in an hour you know so they can have a lower minimum I'm doing quality work so my price is up here their price might be down there you might be getting more you know you feel like you're getting a bang for your buck but right here I'm right here they're right there you're supporting locally somebody doing it local and you're supporting skateboarding even if you're not making skateboarding shirts you're supporting here if my if my price is here and the massive screen printing shop price is down here but I'm up here you still realize that you're getting quality work it's the same quality maybe a little bit better than the automatic ones because base so if you ever go on YouTube and look or even I've seen it in person the automatic printers all they do hire people to load the shirts on the automatic printers Boom, that's all they do all day is load the shirts, make sure the squeegee's straight, everything, load the ink on the screens, and get everything going, okay? They do that. They might get it down for once in a while, but, you know, f uh, let's say five out of ten shirts, five of those shirts are going to be off. See, I, you, what did Fat Joe say? Today's price is not yesterday's price. So, Bam. Today's price is not yesterday's price. So if you want quality work, locally sourced, locally, you know, and not shipped out, it might be local. You might go to Seattle and get one done for on the cheap, but they're doing everybody's. See, if you're doing it on on, on my scale, 
I feel like you just find somebody doing it locally, small based, garage shop, even if they rent out a little, you know, space somewhere to do their work and they own the business and the person that's producing the work is the everybody, the receptionist, the person that you talk to when you get the shirts made, I'm the designer, I'm everything. Boom. One man band. Heck yeah. So these DTF ones, I got the whole catalog for forevercrusaders.com worked and ready and the and if it if these the ones that I think are gonna pop off pop off because my whole I, I got rid of all of my old old stuff so when I go skate and hang out or even skateboarding I'm just going to be wearing my own gear and even just out and about I'm gonna be wearing my own gear the only time that I you know dress up go nice somewhere is if I'm going somewhere nice but mo the rest of the time I'm gonna be skateboarding my own skateboards again and wearing my own gear again who who do you know can say that they are wearing their own clothes that they made themselves let me know holy cow we did it I sat here for the longest time how long have I been sitting here maybe for an hour hour and a half since about I don't know what time is it it's almost 15 minutes to 1 and I've been sitting down here since 11 o'clock getting all that stuff ready so you better look out for forevercrusaders.com with new stuff the newest of the new the whole what I call catalog thing I got it all situated then I also got some testers to do on a skateboard just to see if it works out because the stuff on the internet that I see it looks like you can do it but you never know you never know some of these crafter people out here are trying to act like they know what they're doing when they really don't know what they're doing I mean by the aftermath you just never know they say one thing on the internet but then when you try it it might work it may, might not work but the graphics that I got for the skateboards would look even cool on t-shirts and sweatshirts and tank tops <sighs> whatever I want to put on so let's move on We've been here for a very long time in the one spot, so let's move on and do some things. He doesn't like that. Watch. Can you grab his... Here, because I've known it right here, and then I'm going to just... See if that works. 20 seconds. Here we go. Skateboard underneath the press. I wouldn't do this to a regular skateboard that I skate. Nah, I already skated this one. This is an experimental to see what would actually happen if I bought one of these and I put it on a skateboard. But that, that board is hot. Well, it's almost like when they actually do it and they put it in the rollers. But that's this, this one on the t-shirt is completely done. Man, that looks really good. They all look really good. So let's try to do the skateboard and peel this off. But you would have to, I would have to do it again. It worked a little bit. Up here, right here. That, well, that, it didn't stick right there, but it stuck where the heat was at. But it doesn't, I don't know how it feels. It feels like a sticker on the skateboard, but a after me doing it like, like board slide, because this is the thing, the people that were doing it don't skateboard. So they don't consider the fact that skating, no slide, board slide, back lip, front lip, lip slide. If you lip slid, I'm not doing it. If you board slid or did any board slide tricks, that would just rip right off. Look at that, that ripped right off. So, I wouldn't do these for um, skateboards. Cause that just ripped right off. So, screen printing skateboards is probably a better bet than uh, doing the DTF. Unless I just concave, heat press, didn't press it right, maybe I should try it with the iron. If it works with the iron, and if it feels raised, like on here a little bit this is just this stencil I spray painted the stencil on there but you can't even tell it looks screen printed and when you screen print skateboards it gives it that feel 
and then the ink and even this ink with this paint ink it just makes the screen printed skateboards in my because i screen printed skateboards for a very long time this feels way better when you slide there's more i don't know what it is it's super cool i don't know about the dtf on the skateboard just thinking about like when you're skating when you're actually skating a skateboard this is what this is what it looks like when you actually skate a skateboard people that do the crafting this is what skating real this is what an old real skateboard looks like go check the footage I don't have to lie to kick it t-shirts sweatshirts with this stuff most definitely I'll use it that's a whole nother different way of doing it not I'm not gonna do it with the skateboards that'd be just a waste a waste of time and a waste of energy of doing it on a skateboard I could I could print those other ones on something on something else you know so we're out here every day Monday and Friday and in between so double dog dare you to subscribe double dog dare you to share this I haven't said that in a long time share it show it to your people show it to somebody your grandma your grandpa your neighbor we're out here